So, hello everyone. Uh, you know where this is by now, I'm out at the bridge. See, I've got my mask on, so we're allowed out to the woods and stuff again here. But uh, why I'm in this area that there could still be feet, it's early in the morning, it's like 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, you still got to wear your mask, so, you know, I'll keep my mask on. I'm going to be leaving the city just, well, now really. Uh, and then you don't actually have to wear a mask. I'll keep it handy in case I'm passing anyone on the trail or blah blah blah. Um, we're doing a long walk. We're going out to. It's about a. An eight, eight, eight and a half mile walk to my sort of staging post. And then and another one or two miles to the. wherever I'm going to be camping. So. Probably about 10 miles in total. So I'm gonna take it easy today. That's why I'm leaving early in the morning. This is gonna be a multi-day. So I don't know yet whether maybe I'm gonna film it all and put it all up in one long video or I might edit it and upload it day by day. I don't know. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'll bring you back if anything exciting happens. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is gonna be a long one, folks. Hello everyone, I've uh, stopped for a break. I have a good little break just now because my foot's bothering me, but uh, uh, I just checked my thing. I've got, well, my, my GPS, come out, whatever it is I use, the app, and I've got about three miles to go. 3.1 miles, it says. I've just stopped here in this little bit of pines. Cause, uh, <laughs> I noticed this tree stump. Yeah, behind me, well, they've cut down that bit you can see the birch just in the oh, I'll say in the distance I'm not even a hundred yards away but yeah I've stopped here for a little break I'm bad foot my heel on this foot I don't know why it's been bothering me lately but yeah, we'll get over it so I'm gonna break out the water and whatnot and chillax here for a good good 15 or 20 minutes probably and then I'll do the second leg we just got to go down through the woods I'm actually I'm actually very, very close, just across from, I uh, don't know if you remember, where I'd done my, my first camp with the Poaka, the Lavu, just over there, about 50 yards or something away probably. So, uh, there's a track here, you can follow that out the woods, it's maybe about a mile, and you get to a wee village called Santotsuko, and I've got about half a mile through Santotsuko, and then we turn off and head up the track down to, there's a lake, but there's another one I'm going to, we'll, I've not been to it yet, we'll see. So that's about another mile and a half. So, uh, yeah, about three miles in total. After I've had this break, had some water, blah, 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 I should be fine. I'll bring you back in a little bit, guys. So, I've got to, like a wee bench here that I was, uh, it was at one of my previous things, one of my day hikes. And the wee... Well, the wee lake, this is a kind of big lake, stretches up there. There's a kind of chain of lakes that feed into each other. One up through the woods there. And that's why I'm going to investigate for a camping site. Absolutely stunning here. I saw the eagles out as well. They're not out over the water just now, they're further back down the track quite close to them this time, <laughs> they are big birds. So, uh, the woods behind me. I'm taking a little stop here because I've got my left foot, is my heel absolutely killing me. I don't know what's wrong with it but it's very similar to something I had as a, when I was a kid. Um, not so much when I've been out walking but if I'd been out all day and been doing a lot and got home later on at night. Once I'd sat down, I when I'd go to get up again, my heel killing me as soon as I put pressure on it. And uh, I'd been to the doctors and things like that, and it, it turned out the doctor said there was uh, like uh, a lack of blood supply or, or not good poor blood supply to the, the bone, like my heel bone, if you like. And they gave me these little, uh, like little inserts to put into my shoe, they were just basically foam that went under my heel, not the whole length of the shoe, like an like a insole, just, just a thingy. And it was to keep my foot at a slight 
raised ankle on my heel, uh, raised angle, sorry, on my heel. And it's it's very similar to that. It's the kind of pain I'm feeling, but it's uh, it's making it tough going. So I'm I'm going to sit. I'm going to rest here for for actually a good wee bit, and then I'm just going to continue on. I don't have far to go, or hopefully I don't have far to go because uh, I've got to get down to that lake and see what it's like and see what it's like for camping. Uh, if not, I'll need to go a bit further through the woods, maybe to the next one. But we'll. Uh, We'll see how it goes. I'll bring you back once I get to my my destination. But uh, I'm really looking forward to getting there because it is beautiful. This this lake no good because it's it's worked. I've seen there's a guy out on the water. He's been out on a wee a wee boat just pushing it. You know, like uh, them was it gondolas you see in Venice. He's just pushing it about like that. He's feeding the fish. So they are definitely like what I saw last time, like cages in the water where they raise the fish because you can see them throwing in the fish food. <laughs> So obviously I can't camp down there. Not really that many trees and things like that down there anyway, so um oops. Yeah, as I say, I'll bring you back. I'm gonna just rest here. Just chillax, it's lovely and quiet, it's, it's lovely weather. And uh Yeah, I'll just see how it goes. <laughs> Here you see them in frame, two of them. Oh, nearly lost them, there he is. There's a family about, I think it's about four of them. They're eagles. My camera doesn't do it justice, but they are big birds. They're not even that far away. And they are big birds. I think there's some sort of fish eagle or something. So ladies and gentlemen, we're here. You know that in the background, quite a wee way off. There's people, uh, well, good out sawing, uh, lumberjacks. They're clearing up wood through there. I don't know exactly what they're doing. But. So here we are. Got my bag there, off the ground, because pff, ants, man. I found this little bit, there's a fallen tree here. So I'm gonna put my hammock along. And yeah, we've got this lake. I'm gonna have a fire down here. I've already planned it out. Move some stuff out of the way. Only gonna be a small fire, really, for cooking and stuff. Um, oh, a bit marshy just down by the edge here. But uh, yeah, this is our lake. It's gonna be our lake for the next. At least tonight, if not a couple of days. I might move further up, I don't know, we'll see. Um, yeah, you can't see them just here, but I was, oh no, wait there. Can you see them in the water? The little brown shapes. That's a fish right there, you can see. Not closer in here, but. My zoom's not great. But there he is, just sitting there in the water, quite a thing. Loads of them, little fish in close by in the water here. I can see them all over. I'm not going to be doing any fishing. I don't know what kind of fish they are, I can't see right. Probably, I don't know, probably carp or roach or maybe a mixture. But um, that tells me the water's at least decent. So I've got my I've got my uh my catered in like water purifier although I'm gonna be boiling as well but that'll take any of the crap out of it and with the carbon filter in it it will help with the taste. So uh it's a little bit breezy but it's okay. We'll set up my my uh hammock, we'll put you on the tripod for that. And we'll get a wee bit settled here. So, there you go, hammock's up. Um, I honestly don't know if I am going to bother with the tarp tonight. Because, the only thing is, temperature might drop. 
we might get some mist off that lake so I don't know maybe I'll put it up for that but right now I'm not going to maybe need to sort that uh, left hand side just where the mosquito net comes up and put that a little bit higher just from where it is because we're on an uneven ground here so um, I've had to it's just the way I've had to do it so I'll maybe sort that out later on um, but that's about it so yeah, I'll bring you back when we're more established and doing something. Right now, I'm going to, uh, I'm probably going to have a lie in my hammock and chill. Um, and I'm just going to, as I say, lie in my hammock, chill, rest this foot because it's, it's it's killing me. Like it's it's kind of really bad right now. Uh, we've got plenty of time. It's like it's midday now. So I've got what eight hours till sunset, eight and a half hours till sunset, nine hours till it's like dark. Got loads of time. I just left early, so I gave myself plenty of time to get out of here, find a spot, sort things out, not have to push myself too much, because uh, yeah, the walk out here, I needed a couple of rests. But, um, ah, this should be a good one. Okay, guys. <laughs> so, guys, what I have been doing for the last, not that long, actually, probably only like 15, 15 minutes or so, not taking, not rushing or anything. So that's my normal paracord. I took a length of that, about five foot, six foot. And what I've done is I've split it out. So you've got, that's the case in there. And that's the inner, one of the inner fibers. And then you've got the, the seven strands here. So you've got the seven strands plus one and the other thing. I'll keep them all. So, what I'm thinking of doing is essentially a little fishing pole, huckleberry fin style. Uh, just using like a sapling, a length of this, about the same length as a sapling on it. Maybe a floater, I don't know, like a little stick. And I don't know what to use, whether to use this. Uh, come on, focus. Are you going to focus? No. So I don't know whether to use this little little strand in there because it's strong enough to catch any fish it's only a little fish thingy or one of these which are incredibly strong but I don't know if it's more the fish can see it easier it might put them off I don't know I'll keep this because although it's hollow now it's still a nylon strand that's still strong um, and what I've done is we've tried uh... oops that was a wee bit of the thingy that went awry. Out of the, my, what do you call it? That focus. Yeah? Oh. I don't know if you can see that right. We've made a wee, a wee hook. Uh, out for safety pin. Will it work? Don't know. But I do have, uh, I don't think I'm going to bother going looking around for grubs. Ah, I'm just having a, a mess around a little play. So I might use, I've got like, uh, got like tin, like tin pork, almost like spam in there. Now I think in here we see little, little, I don't know, roach, carp, carp's probably a, an almost definite in there. I don't know what else would be in there, but, um, I think I might try some off that luncheon me. I know back in the UK there's fishermen go for I think like chub and I'm not sure barbo, carp, tench, loads of other fish. I, I, I think these fish all go for luncheon me. It's been found they do. So I'll give it a little try, a little play around. I say I don't know if we'll catch anything. Might, might not. I need to get a sapling. I'm gonna do it in a little bit. And we'll just have a wee play around. Something to do, isn't it? Hello, oh, peoples. Uh, this is the rig here. You'll see the... Oh, that's a pole. So, okay, that is a... Or was a living bit of wood. It's a hazel sapling from up there, but there's... A million and one. Not all of them are going to survive anyway. Hazel grows back, so... We've got this tied up. We've got about the same length of the road line. We come down... We've got here, 
which is going to be like a wee float. It also gives us weight just to swing it out. Uh, and we come down here to uh, to my wee hook I made. So <clears throat> we're going to try that out a little bit later. Or maybe there's a wee log. Where is it? Boop, 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 boop. Just here. And it's a tree that goes out. You can see that's actually it out in the water there. There's a load of little fish swimming in and around and blah 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 around there. So yeah, we'll give it a go. Why not? I wanted to go a wee bit more investigating, but this foot of mine is uh, yeah, it's not doing me any favours. So. We're kind of stuck at camp. I'm going to have to go and get some firewood and that in a little bit and uh, make sure we're prepped for the night. We're not doing big fires or anything like that. It's not going to be too cold. Um, it's just going to be more for cooking and a little bit of ambiance. So, um, yeah, I'll get on with that and see where we are in a little bit. So, as you can see, it's... Uh, Pretty dark now, it's not fully dark yet. Hang on, I've got the fire going. I don't know if you can see that there, it's a, it's a star fire. What's called a star fire. You know, when the, the logs are set out, like in the shape of a star, just with all the ends burning in the middle. So I'm going to let it burn down a little bit. I figure that'll be quite good for cooking on. Because you've got like pot holes in the middle. You can put a pot right on the top, right in the middle, get the full heat or uh, you know, put them just off to the side, probably fit two or three pots on there. I'm just sitting chilling. I waited too late to um, to start a fire because it turns out there's a, there's a couple of tracks going quite close to here. You can hear people in that about. I didn't really want to start a fire until it was like almost getting dark. So I thought maybe there's no one up because I I really have no idea if it's um, if it's okay for camping. Well, I think it is okay for camping. It's kind of like, uh, well, not so much Scotland, but probably England. Well, unless it's on strictly private property, camping seems to be, wild camping is like, it's a funny one. It's like, uh, technically it's illegal, but it's tolerated. And that's why, that's why the likes of me and, and other people kind of harp on a little bit about, you know, leave no trace, make sure your fires are out, you know, it just stops, uh, just stops us bushcrafters getting a bad name, you know, and then, you know, the law comes down on us and it, it won't let us out to do what we love doing, that's the long and short of it. So I've got this, it's, it's not a big fire, I just wanted a little fire, not too... Thingy. I'll put some wood underneath it just to get a wee bit more coals for burning the ends. It's got I made like a little pit almost for it to burn in. So when it burns down a bit, flattens out. I think I'll uh, think about getting some food on. Tell you what else, this little lake. It's a small lake, big pond. <laughs> But um, if I had proper fishing license, proper fishing tackle and everything, I'm not sure what fish are in here, but they've kind of quieted down a little bit now. But in that, you know, that last hour or two before the sun sets, the witching hour, I just, they're everywhere. You hear some big splashes, even though I've maybe not seen them, you hear some big splashes, like there's some potentially big fish in there. I don't know if it's carp or... In most places in Poland have your uh, uh, pike, perch, carp, roach, I think. There's loads of other ones as well. 
Now, it's very common here, not not so common in Britain. I think it's been introduced in some places in Britain, but the Xander, the Pike Perch, call it Sandatch over here, uh, and it's eaten a lot. You see it in restaurants loads of times, it's and it's in restaurants all the time. Sandatch. I'd love to get to fish for them at some point. And they are they are pretty active at night, like now is the good time to fish for them. I do what that is, it sounds like monkeys. Can you hear that? I think that's actually um they have storks here. Storks are crying, storks I think. White stork, black stork. You know, like the Polish bird they make. Uh, acro acro like across the lake there, there's very tall pine trees. They make uh, make their nests at the top of these like real tall, straight pine trees. I mean, these are really big pine trees. These are at least 30, 40 feet, maybe more. And that's what you're hearing there. That's them evidently going to bed, just having a last wee thingy before they go to bed. It might be an interesting night because I'm, you know, I'm up in the wilds now. I'm like, I'm ten miles out. It was a ten mile walk today. So there is paths that people go, people drive up and do running and stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy. I've got no um, no tarp tonight. I sit and stare at the sky, stare out. I don't, I don't think it's going to be too misty and stuff because it's, it's not, it shouldn't drop down too cold tonight. I think it's going to be about six degrees, which is not too cold. Yeah, so I hope it doesn't get any colder than that because all I've got is my, all I've got is my my DD blanket. So that's supposedly down to, to about two, good, so I put on a couple of layers and my, my down jacket when I go to bed as well tonight and uh, just have that, hopefully, hopefully it'll be enough. But, uh, yeah, we lost the sun quite any, there's a little brow behind me that kind of meant we lost the sun here but it will rise straight in front of us tomorrow so we'll be getting the sun early in the morning. Get some heat on us and stuff. But yeah, until then I'm gonna chill out. I'll maybe bring you back if I do some cooking. I'm uh, getting <laughs> not complaining about my foot so much, but it's kind of really uh, mucking up my enjoyment right now. So if I don't, I'll maybe just bring you back tomorrow. But we'll uh, see how it goes. See how it goes. So guys, we have got our King Prawns here, marinated, I just need to give them a wee quick mix. So that is uh, sweet chilli sauce, soy, uh, garlic oil, a little bit extra garlic, and it was supposed to be chilli but I forgot it. Got a rice over there on now, so basically boil the rice, hang it up on a tree or something to drain, and uh once that's done, we'll put the prawns on because they're going to take no time at all. Um, nothing too complicated tonight. Nothing too sophisticated. I'll bring you back as and when it's ready. Well, guys, there's one of the advantages of uh, this little star fire. Actually, seems quite good for cooking. Very good for balancing the pot on there. Got the rice nearly ready. We've got a lot of king prawns here. I should actually uh, split up the packet, but I didn't realise there was much in it.
Now I've had them out, I don't really want to... Uh, I don't really want to, um, you know, take them back home or leave them till tomorrow or whatever, because we've got to be a bit careful with prawns, you know. Oh. So we'll sit and let them cook. I would say that's actually really good. We've got a nice base on that for the frying pan in the middle. We've got the pot at the side. You'd have a pot in each one of those, you know, the little, I don't know, intersections in between the logs. <coughs> and the type of wood we've got there. ideal for it oh, right. no I'm still not 100% on what that is to me it seems like oak but surrounded by another tree there which I think is ash so I don't I really don't know That rice is done. I'm gonna hang it on the tree to dry, uh, dry to drain. Oh, we'll set that water over there. And then we can have the fire's undivided attention for our prongs. So we're kind of, I suppose you would call it sauteing them over a medium heat, medium high heat. We've got a fair bit of liquid in them, so uh, they're not frying frying. But what we're going to do is we're going to cook them a little bit slower, saute them, get some of that, uh, get some of that water out of there, out of the sauce, get a little reduction going on in there. Uh, Make them a little bit sticky. That's what we're going for tonight. And there we go, guys. I forgot the spring onion as well. But, uh, that's like sweet and sticky prawns with rice. Um, and there's a little bit of these, um, like crispy onions. I don't think they actually do that in China, but, uh, when I lived in Germany, when you went to any of the little, like, street vendors. You used to get the, like, soy, sriracha, and uh, the crispy onion on it, on your noodles or your fried rice, whatever it is you got. And it's it's just awesome, it's to die for. So I'm going to rip into this, because I'm starving. It's about 11 o'clock at night now, and I have I've literally eaten nothing today. So, yeah. Done that, stoked the fire. That pot's on, it's just got some water, it's just cleaning really. Cleaning it out more than anything, I've still got water, I'll purify some tomorrow probably. Um, yeah, I'll speak to you guys uh, on a full stock. Hello everyone, that's, uh, that's me all wrapped up in my hammock now. I'm going to try and get some sleep, I'm just going to let a fire go out. All about keeping it going all night. So, uh, 